One of the simplest and cheapest things you can do to keep your car running like new is changing the oil. After all, today's engines work harder and run hotter than they ever have. Changing the oil every 3,000 miles is critical, or, or is it? GM has turned conventional thinking on its head with its oil life monitor. They've developed a system that can calculate how long an engine can go between oil changes, and the drain intervals are truly shocking. And then here, you'll see that we have on this vehicle 4,221 miles with 86% of the oil life left. On average, the vehicles that use this system, you get an oil change across all of our vehicle lines about 8,500 miles. Now, personally, the ones that I drive end up not needing an oil change up into the 12,000 mile range and some beyond. It all depends on the number of uh, combustion events, the temperature, how long the vehicle's running, and that's put into our PCMs, most of the vehicles, and the system automatically gives the owner that kind of data. Additionally, if you sign up for it, the OnStar will also send you this information once a month. Some of the things that we roll through here, if you just punch that uh, information, button. the information button here, the one with the eye, yeah. Hit that. That'll give you your oil life. Keep going down through there. It'll give you your tire pressure. This is also indicated on the report that you get from OnStar. And our instructions are that you need to change the oil at least once a year, whether or not this comes up, because we want to, um, you know, the age of the oil, we don't want to get too old. But then when this allows you to come in and get your oil, well, tells you to come in and get your oil change, we tie all of our service in with that. The tires will get rotated, they'll fill your fluids, they'll reset this monitor, and that's very important, and, and many of these are reset different methods. So a dealer is the best person to have that service performed at, because if you don't, if you don't reset that, uh, this properly, you lose all of that calculation that goes into the um, when the oil is going to be worn out. So that's one of the nice features on a GM vehicle. We've saved millions of gallons of oil and saved, if our customers use it, millions of dollars aggregately throughout all the customers that use this system. 8,500 miles seems like an awfully long drain interval and 12,000 sounds like suicide. But after doing a little research, I'm convinced this is the way to go. It can save a lot of time, money, and oil in the long run. Plus, GM would not advocate oil changes at these intervals if it weren't totally confident in the technology. It'd probably cost them a fortune in warranty repairs if it didn't work. On top of that, today's oils are better than they've ever been, so long drain intervals like these should be no sweat. Of course, if you race your car or tow heavy loads, you'll need to change the oil more often. But GM claims this system will compensate for that extra wear and tear.